I've been asked where the story of the girl came from, and it really began in my research along the U.S.-Mexico border. I decided to set the film in the city of Nuevo Laredo, just across the river from Laredo, Texas, and was struck by how close those two worlds are, but also how far apart. I was drawn to the river because of its dramatic possibilities and also its poetic quality. One day I was invited to travel down the river by a fireman from Nuevo Laredo named Armando. I'd been told that the firemen actually trawl the river in search of bodies, but I was shocked to learn that Armando had pulled more than 600 bodies out of the river with his own hands. As we made our way down the river, Armando seemed to recall every body he'd pulled into his boat, sometimes two or three bodies in a single day. The body of a woman floating over here, a young man caught in the branches at the river's edge. At every twist and turn, another nameless person pulled into the boat. It was a gruesome catalog of memories. We turned to Ben, and I started to see migrants at the river's edge, all along the Mexican side. They were crouched under trees, taking off their clothes, wading into the water, barebacked, crossing the river in inner tubes. Then I saw a bridge up ahead and this long line of trucks waiting to cross into Texas. As we got closer, it looked like a giant conveyor belt, an endless stream of commerce moving freely into Texas. But down below at the river, another story was unfolding. Then, out of the blue, we came upon a large plastic bag floating downstream. I looked around wondering where it came from. Someone had obviously slipped while crossing the river. He may have drowned, or he may have made it back to the river's edge, and was standing behind a tree somewhere, stripped to his underwear, watching us. We pulled the bag into the boat, and I remember this eerie silence as Armando reached inside. And then he pulled out a pair of sneakers and a man's clothes rolled into a ball. In one of the pockets he found an ID card and then a small book of prayers. And inside there was a handwritten note from a mother to her son. I looked around again and felt this strange sense of violation. All of these things belonged to someone, but who? The mystery was like a spark igniting other questions and I wanted to know more. What does it mean to make such a journey? And what does it mean to be left behind? The migrants crossing, the trucks lined up across the bridge, the mother's note, all of these became seeds of the story, a kind of starting point for the film. 